So if you sent your lock in and stop working on your keys and you've double checked there's um, not the batteries, let me show you how to resync these keys on the Skoda. Uh, probably work for Volkswagen too, but this is for the Skoda Superb Mark II, okay? So let me show you how you do. This is I'm doing two keys right now because they both stopped working when I done a reset uh, with the diagnostics. Um, if you've been trying to do the ignition and trying to do it in the door and all these videos online, you have one of these Autel computers. Um, let me show you how to do this really easy. So what I'm going to do is, okay, you need to visit guided functions, okay? So let me get prepared for this because it's a bit of a little process here. Let me just move my chair forward. So what we do is we're going to guided functions, okay? It took me ages to find this. Then you go into the control unit, okay? Then you go into number nine here. It might be different on yours, but it's electronic central electric over here, okay? We click this one. Let it load. And then you go guided functions again, okay? Then with the guided functions, there's another guided functions after that. So let that load. Oh well, so here I just put um not installed. Then we click OK. Well, uh so this is where you gotta be careful of because you got a J519 here, and you got a J519 over here. This is a just uh, sorry, uh not that one. Uh there's a couple of J519s. So don't get confused. So this is the one I'm on about. Um, adapt key with radio remote control. And you obviously got check key. So leave that. You go to the adapt key, okay, with radio remote control. And you click there. Then I just got to follow the instructions here, okay, guys. So this is saying, obviously, connect the diagnostic to the vehicle, switch ignition on, the, uh, you know, the existing key, um, the existing ignition keys. Uh, with the radio remote control and then adapted to the onboard supply control unit. Do you wish to carry out the, the a adaptation now? So, um, so we're going to click yes, okay. So what we do is we go yes here. Hang on. We go yes. It's hard to record. So if you only got one key for your car, you hit one. If you got two keys in your car, you hit two. Uh, if you got three, but most people only got two, uh, one or two. I, I have two right now, so I have the one here. I had to shine the torch down ready. You've got the one in the ignition, and I've got this one here, okay. Um, let me try to adjust this torch because I did want to try and show you guys what I'm doing. So if I can just get that there, because I'll keep my hand by the ignition, I will. Let me see, yeah, you can see my two hands there, right, what I'm going to be doing, but I might just keep it by there. So, in here now, right, we're going to click two, okay. And Let's click on this and we're gonna delete it over here obviously hit the little x there right now we're gonna click in here and hit number two for two keys and we're gonna click enter okay and you just follow the instructions i don't know if you can see that then it says uh you know adapt uh vehicle keys with remote control is the number correct yes so then you gotta do this within 15 seconds. You gotta basically just click two buttons. So it says, before starting, uh, basically, please appear following, where was it? Um, so, um, so you gotta click, You um, depend on how many keys you got. So you click, you will click the uh, lock position once on this key, wait like two seconds. Then you click uh, the lock button on the key, which is obviously in the ignition, okay? Um, you'll see the lights flash on your car. You indicate it's anyway outside. I'll try to catch it for you. And obviously, you can exceed 15 seconds when pressing the buttons, okay? So, um, on board, number of keys, put more than one. Yeah, okay. So, we're going to click done, okay? So now this is where we've got to press, I think it's this one. Now press the button there. So I'll record outside. I'm going to hit this button once. It's flashed. So now I'm going to hit this button once on the ignition. And it just flashed. Now you just wait, okay? You just wait now, do nothing else. There we go. So, uh, that vehicle remote control. 
disconnect the diagnostic. There we go. And now all you do is just um, disconnect the computer, the diagnostics from the car. Okay, just straight down there on the on the OBD port on the floor here. Uh, disconnect diagnostic. Now check for lock in. Uh, to do so, press the button on each vehicle. Check central lock in. So now we're going to pull out the computer. Okay, two seconds. We're going to pull it out first. I'll keep this on the screen for you. I'm trying to pull it out with one hand. It's hard because um, I've actually took uh, took it out of his port. Right. So that's out now. Okay, you can see that's out. So now we're going to test the key. Take the key out of the ignition. Okay, and we're going to test it. Ta da! Works lovely. So we're going to obviously tell the computer yes. And there we go. It's done. So I hope you like this guys and uh, so I hope the video is uh, useful to you and if you need a new key guys, a, a new key cover, um, I'll put a link below um, where you can get a new case or something um, uh, and if you're looking for this computer, it's a wicked computer, this is the Maxi Das 808, I'll put a link to this as well below. So look in the description, uh, description guys, it'll be links to a couple of useful things for you. Thank you.